guys, it's me Gracie and welcome back to another Fancy Friday. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my school makeup routine. Now I don't really wear too much makeup to school and some days I don't even wear any makeup to school. This is kind of a look just for like when I feel like wearing makeup to school or if I'm feeling fancy that day. Make sure to follow me on my social medias, it will pop up somewhere on the screen and it will be linked down below. And make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Okay, let's get into this makeup routine. So normally in the morning what I will do is I will wash my face with my Cetaphil cleanser and then I will moisturize. So I'm actually super excited because I found a new moisturizer. If you guys saw my winter skincare routine, I was using Eucerin, which has no scent to it. And I liked it, but I feel like it was just too thick for my skin. Like, it would just sit on my skin and it would take forever to, like, kind of soak in. It was more of, like, a night cream instead of, like, a cream that I would put on my face in the morning. So recently, I've been using the Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer. It's clinically proven to calm and soothe irritated sensitive skin, and I have super sensitive skin, and this actually has a scent to it, and I haven't had an allergic reaction, so that is a good sign. <laughs> it smells really good, and it kind of locks in the moisture and gives me like a nice like natural glow. Like I just washed my face, and I put it on, and as you can tell, like my skin is glowing, and it just looks good. I also like that it has SPF 15 in it, so it's perfect for the summer too. So after I wash my face and I go in with my moisturizer, I like to let it sit in my skin just for a little bit and then I will go in with my Tarte BB Cream. So I like to use products, even though it's winter, I like to use products that have sunscreen in them just because I like to make sure that my skin doesn't get damaged too much and that it's protected from the sun's rays. So I'll just take a little bit and I'll put some dots like underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on my nose, my chin, and then I go in with my fingers, I don't know, some people don't use their fingers for this, I don't really care. I go in with my fingers. So that's what my skin looks like after I use the BB cream. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm in the shade Light Warm. So before I put it on, normally what I'll do is I'll take my Mario Badescu spray, as you can tell I'm running out, but I'll just take my Beauty Blender and I'll just mist it so that it's damp. I'll set it aside and then I'll take my concealer and I don't wear concealer to school too much. Again, this is just for like if I'm feeling fancy that day and if I wanna wear makeup, but I'll just do a little bit under my eyes because I have really bad under eye bags because I don't get enough sleep on my chin and then I'll put some around my nose and then I'll just blend it in. And I'm very gentle when I do this. So I just finished up my concealer and this is what it looks like. So normally when I go to school, I don't really do like contour. I normally just add a little bit of blush just because I like the look of rosy cheeks. And I don't really think I need contour too much just because it's just another step in the morning and I don't wanna be late for school. So the blush that I've been using recently is the ColourPop in the shade Birthday Sue. And I like it because it's very silky and it's super smooth and it just goes on like so beautifully. I also really like to put it on my nose. So I know that looks like a lot of blush, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. So now I take my Dermablend setting powder and I just set everything in place. I never use this thing. Whoa. I never use this thing. Whoa. The lines. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm just gonna blend all that powder in. So you guys already know, this is a classic product for me. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow, and I'm in the shade 1 because my eyebrows are super thin and super light. So I'm just gonna put that on my eyebrows to give it a little bit more shape and color. I remember the first time I tried out this product, I was with my cousin and we went to Sephora 
and I've never been into like doing my eyebrows like I was obsessed with my small eyebrows I don't know why but I was just obsessed with them and I was like oh yeah like I don't need any eyebrow product and then I tried it out for the first time and I was like wow that actually made a huge difference like some people I'm kind of jealous because they don't even have to like worry about their eyebrows because their eyebrows are so perfect like my cousin her eyebrows are a perfect shape and I am so jealous because my eyebrows one so this one always goes higher than this one I don't know why it just naturally does that sorry if my voice sounds weird I'm getting over a small cold so that's as good as it's gonna get this one still looks a little sparse I feel like I can make that better hold on okay there we go that looks a little bit better a little bit better I don't know you guys will be the judge of it probably looks really bad but do I care no so some days for school I don't even wear eyeshadow so I just wear mascara but on the days that I'm feeling fancy I will wear some eyeshadow if I have time for the purpose of this video so it's more entertaining I will be wearing eyeshadow and I will be using the Kylie Jenner X Alta holiday palette so I'm just gonna take the shade martini mama and I'm just gonna put it on my lid and I already primed my eyelids with concealer Martini Mama is like a nice champagne color so it's good for like everyday wear I personally like warmer like champagne and uh, kind of like pinky colors because they make my blue eyes pop more so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Rosé and I'm going to put that in my crease. So it's just a nice transition shade. So now I'm just blending it a little more in the outer corners. So now I'm just going to take the shade Paybacks a bleep. Not going to say the word, but I'm sure you can look at the colors and you'll know what it is that shade and I'm just gonna put it in my outer corners so once I'm done with that I'm just gonna take my finger and go in with martini mama again just put it on my lid and this kind of brightens it up a little bit more I'm also going to put it in my inner eye corners so that's it for the eyeshadow and again I don't wear this to school every day this is more of just a fun look if I'm feeling fancy like I've said multiple times so now for mascara I'm just using my mini travel sized better than sex I have a full like a regular size one but I'm just going to finish using my mini one before I use the bigger one and I love this mascara so much you guys probably already know this, but Too Faced is my favorite makeup brand. I also really like Tarte. Tarte makeup is one of my favorites. But Too Faced, Too Faced owns my heart. But I just finished doing my mascara. These are what my lashes look like. And I just put some on my bottom lashes too, but not too much. So this is what it looks like. So for my lips, I've been doing a combo of two lip glosses. I've been using the Teeny Wee Cosmetics Princess Gloss and the Too Faced Eggnog Gloss. It came in this set, which I love so much. So I've been using the eggnog one a lot recently and I really like it. So it's kind of like a champagne color and I really like it. It has like a pink tint to it. And then this one is just overall pink. And I'm just using a little bit, and I know that looks super light. It looks like concealer lips. But then when I put the Too Faced gloss on top, so it's just very pink, and I really like it. I love the whole look. This is kind of like what I normally go with because I love very glossy and very like champagne-y looking looks. At the end, what I like to do, I like to do highlight last. I've always done this. I don't know. It's just kind of something I've always done. But I'm going in with my ColourPop Horses and Carriage Highlight. And it's 
again this very pretty champagne color. A little bit on my nose. Cupid's bow. And then I'll kind of go over it with my finger just to kind of blend it out a little bit more. So to set everything in place, I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Primer Refresh and Setting Spray. And I love this so much because it, first of all, it smells really good. It makes my skin look super soft and super glowy. And yeah, that is my makeup for school when I want to feel fancy and just like myself. Some of you guys may think this is a lot of makeup for school and I agree. There are people who wear a lot more and I'm not here to judge at all because makeup is a way that I like to express myself. I like to show my style. And there's a girl at my school who actually wears colorful eyeshadow every single day. Like she'll wear like greens, pinks, blues. And I think it's so cool. Like her eyeshadow just looks on point all the time. So again, just express yourselves. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't wear makeup to school or that you're wearing too much because you do you, you just be yourself. And yeah, this is my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you guys know when I upload. And again, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. They will be linked down below. I also have a January haul coming very soon. The only problem is some of the things that I've ordered haven't come in the mail yet, so thank you for being so patient. I know I talked about it on my Instagram that it was going to be coming up soon, but unfortunately the packages just haven't arrived, so I have to wait. I've also been trying to do my dream board video for 2020. Um, it's coming out very soon. The only thing is we ran out of ink in our printer, so I've been trying to print out our images and we just need more ink so stay tuned for that i know it's kind of late i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye Make a pop -a